Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be having a look at how you can install vehicles in default police slots using the modding DLC Pack 5. So today as an example we are going to be installing the Ford Police Interceptor by the Herc and this happens to be an ELS vehicle. However this tutorial will also work for non-ELS vehicles so if you are interested in that you can follow this tutorial as well. So this video is going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way and you can find a link for the whole playlist in the description below and also on the card above. And before you start this tutorial you need to make sure to have followed my ELS installation tutorial and also the Modding DLC Pack 5 base installation tutorial. And both links for those can also be found in the description below and will have been popping up on cards on the right. So with that out of the way let's get right into the video. So the first thing we are going to do is obviously download this file and you're going to be taken to the download page. Uh, we are going to save it and we are going to download it. And I recommend you save it inside the download slash GTA 5 mod slash vehicles folder. So once that is all downloaded we are going to be opening the archive using WinRAR and we are going to extract it into the folder. And once that is all done we are going to be opening the folder and as you can see we've got quite a few files here, we've got the readme, the vehicle files, pictures and extras. So we're just going to quickly go and open the readme. And as you can see it has some basic installation instructions, pack notes and some questions. Um, as I've explained in the base modding DLC pack installation video, all of these locations you should not use. We are going to be using the modding DLC pack 5 installation locations for this uh, vehicle. So what we're going to do now is we are going to be opening the Modding DLC Pack 5 readme and because we are going to be replacing an existing vehicle slot today we are going to go over uh, to replace existing vehicles that are in the game by default. And as you can see now we have a few steps that we need to follow. So we are just going to follow these steps for this particular vehicle. So the first step is add the vehicle models, drag and drop the vehicle models into OpenIV with edit mode enabled in the following location. So what we are going to do is I'm going to go back into the uh, vehicle download and we are going to go down into the vehicle files and let's install the marked uh, version of this. The vehicle files are going to be the files that are either YFT or YTD files. So basically all three of these. So these are the vehicle files we're going to be installing into OpenIV. So we're going to be launching OpenIV and we're going to select GTA 5 for Windows. We're just going to let that launch for a minute. And once that has launched, we are going to be going over into the favorites menu and we're going to go over into modding slash DLC RPF that we created uh, in the base modding DLC. So this is just a shortcut to this path, GTA 5 mods, updates, x64 DLC packs, modding, DLC RPF. And after that, we are going to be going into x64 levels, GTA 5 and vehicles. Vehicles to RPF and as you can see now this archive is empty. So we're just going to go back into the readme of the morning DLC pack really quickly. Drag and drop the vehicle models into this path which is where we are now. So how are we going to do that? Do that is we are going to go over into OpenIV and activate edit mode just like that and then we are going to go over into this and then we are going to go back into the vehicle download and select these three files. You can do that by holding control on your keyboard and clicking the three files just like that. And they can drag them over right into OpenIV. As you can see now they will appear right up over there and that is all going to be good. Now if for whatever reason you are unable to drag and drop the files into your OpenIV you can quite simply activate edit mode, click the plus button or right click and select add. And what you can then simply do is navigate over into the vehicle download and select these three files holding control. Just like that you can select open and they'll be imported into this folder. Uh, pretty much in the same way as just drag and dropping them over. So once you've done that you can deactivate edit mode and right now the vehicle files have been installed into your game successfully. So that pretty much means that we have now completed the first step of the uh, replacing existing vehicles in our game successfully. Now the next steps for installing the vehicles are going to be the currents.meta and the handling.meta entries. If you need to install these for your vehicle then you can find full information on how to do that a little bit down below in the guide. Over here you can see adding entries to handling.meta and adding entries to carburetions.meta. Um, 
However, for this vehicle, this is not required as this vehicle uses the default carburations and handling .meta files, and we are also installing it in the slot it was intended for, which is Police 3. And that basically means that we do not need to replace any carburations or handling .meta lines because they just simply use the default ones uh, and they will work fine. However, if your vehicle does include instructions for replacing the carburations or handling .meta, you will have to follow those instructions and doing that pretty much works in the same way as replacing the vehicle .meta lines, which is what we are going to be doing right now. So as you can see, the fourth step uh, is vehicles.meta must be edited in the default vehicles.meta for existing cars as normal, because the game will not check this DLC's vehicles.meta for vehicles that are in the game by default. So that means that because we are now replacing an existing game slot, which is Police 3, we are going to be having to edit the default vehicles.meta. Now this default vehicles.meta can be found in the following location. It is going to be mods, update, update.rpf, common, data, levels, GTA 5. Right over there, it's going to be vehicles.meta. Now what we need to do is we need to open this vehicle downloads vehicles.meta lines. And once you've opened the file, you can see that here is the vehicles.meta entry for the Police 3 slot. Now, because we are simply installing the vehicle in the slot it was intended for, which is Police 3, we can simply leave this all the same. Um, so what you can now do is we need to copy and paste everything starting from the item tag. We can keep selecting, keep selecting, keep holding the mouse and scrolling down. And you're going to find the slash item tag at the bottom. That is what you need to copy and paste it to. So hit the Ctrl C on the keyboard or select copy. And once you've done that, we are going to be going back into OpenIV. And as you can see here, we are still at the vehicles.meta file. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit edit mode. And then we are going to right click the vehicles.meta file. We're going to hit the edit button. And let's just make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see, every single uh, vehicles, vehicles.meta entry is contained inside this file. So what we are now going to do is, because we are going to be replacing a vehicle slot that is in the game by default, we also need to replace its vehicles.meta entry. So we somehow need to find the Police 3 uh, entry, which we can quite simply do by hitting the search button and looking for Police 3. And as you can see here, here is the item entry in the vehicles.meta for the Police 3. Now the following little bit is very important. We are going to be copy pasting the uh, lines from the download over into our vehicles.meta and replacing it. So you really need to make sure you are replacing the proper lines. So here we can see model name Police 3. That is all good. The item starts here, right before the open brackets uh, item thing. So we are going to select it from here. We're going to go all the way down and we're going to look for the slash item for a new model name, which we can find right up over here. So you can see slash item that concludes the beginning opening item tag at the top. And as you can see here, here is a new item that starts. We do not want to select this. We want to select this. So make sure you select it right up into there. And what you can now do is you can hit backspace on your keyboard and that entire entry is going to be gone. Now what you need to do, is you see we've got uh, our cursor between the two items uh, that the old one was surrounded by. We can hit Ctrl V on the keyboard or simply right click and select paste. And as you can see here, now the vehicles.meta entry from the download, which was this one, has just been pasted into here. And we have successfully replaced the Police 3 Vehicles.meta entry. So once you've done that, it is very important to quickly check if you've done it right. Uh, make sure that you begin with the item tag and follow the yellow line down. And the yellow line should stop at the close item tag. And the next model name should be right up over there. So the yellow line basically spans from the close item tag to the open item tag. So now it has been done successfully. Uh, we have replaced the Police 3 Vehicles.meta entry. We can quite simply now select the Save button, and that is going to close the Vehicles.meta file, and that is now successfully replaced.
The Carveriations and Handling.meta have a very similar process if you need to add those. Again, for detailed information on the paths and how exactly to do that, uh, make sure to check out the modding DLC pack, Handling.meta and Carveriations.meta uh, chapters. So as you can see now, we have just completed the final step in replacing existing vehicles in the game with our own. So we can now close the modding DLC pack readme and we can now close this as well. And there is one final thing we do need to do. Because this is an ELS vehicle, remember when we installed the ELS script, we have those VCFs. Now this vehicle comes with its own VCF, which is now already called Police 3, so that's good. Um, what you quite simply need to do is you need to copy this and you need to go over into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and you need to go over into the ELS folder, pack default folder, and then right click and select paste. And as you can see now, police3.xml has been installed over here successfully. So the ELS configuration for the vehicle we just installed is now also going to be used by ELS. Obviously, if you're not installing an ELS vehicle, you won't need to have to do this. So now that that is all done, we are just going to open our game and I will show you exactly how you can spawn the vehicle and use it properly. So now that the game's loading, I'm going to quickly go over a few potential crashes that you might get uh, while loading. So if you are currently loading the game, it's going to be saying loading story mode. And after that, it should shortly say loading some other stuff as well. So if it crashes around the loading and populating game world thing, that means that you have made a mistake in replacing the vehicles.meta entry. In that case, go over your vehicles.meta again, make sure the item and slash item tags are correctly placed and that you do not have any duplicate item tags. Uh, make sure to do it exactly as I did because otherwise your game is going to crash there because you have an invalid XML format in your vehicles.meta. Obviously I'm not going to crash because I did it correctly so hopefully you did so too. You're going to be able to load into game and because we have installed the vehicle in the police 3 slot we can simply hit F4 to open the Rage Blunder console and Select Spawn and Warp, Police 3. It's quite simply like that. We're going to hit Enter on the keyboard, and that is going to spawn us into the vehicle we have just installed. As you can see, it is uh, properly installed. It handles nicely because we installed the vehicle. It's not meta lines properly. It also looks good. And we are now using ELS, so by default, you can then press J on the keyboard, and you can press J again and J again, and you'll see the light comes on, and you can hit G on the keyboard and uh, you're going to be able to use the vehicle without any issues. So with that being said everyone, that concludes how to install your own custom vehicles into the default game vehicle slots such as Police, Police 2 and Police 3. I really do hope this helped you out. I'm going to be going over how to install add-on vehicles and PEDs in a future video on the modding DLC pack. So make sure to check those out once they do become available. They are also going to be inside the Learn GTA 5 Morning Albo's Way playlist. And a card of that is going to be on screen right now. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my future content and tutorials, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. That would really help me out. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.